Have you heard about the remarkable James Webb Space Telescope? Well, if not, stay with us and explore the vast knowledge of our cosmos. The satellite was launched on December 25, 2021. It's the largest optical telescope in space and can observe distant, dim or early objects that the Hubble Space Telescope can't. Scientists in several subfields of astronomy and cosmology will be able to undertake more in-depth investigations, such as watching the formation of the universe's first stars and galaxies and establishing the chemical makeup of exoplanet atmospheres. Before we dive deep into the marvelous discoveries made, let's look at the prevailing features. The satellite has proven to be a unique and humanity's most incredible invention. James Webb's mass is nearly half that of Hubble's. The JWST's 6.5-meter primary mirror is constructed of 18 hexagonal mirrors. A thin layer of glass coats the mirror's gold, coating for durability. JWST is built for near-infrared astronomy but can also see orange, red and mid-infrared light. It can detect 100 times fainter objects than Hubble and things from about 180 million years of cosmic time after the Big Bang in the universe's history. The location of the satellite has proven to be of utmost importance. Approximately 1.5 million kilometers beyond Earth's orbit around the Sun, the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point is where the JWST operates in a halo orbit. Its orbit keeps it outside the shadows the Earth and the moon cast because its absolute position varies from around 250,000 to 832,000 kilometers from L2. Hubble is approximately 550 kilometers above the Earth's surface, while the moon is about 400,000 kilometers from the Earth. Telescopes may maintain a relatively constant distance from the Sun, Earth and Moon by observing objects that orbit the Sun in sync with Earth and keeping the telescope's distinctive sun shield and equipment bus pointed in the same direction. Through its wide orbit, the telescope is shielded from the Earth's and the Moon's shadows while maintaining uninterrupted solar power and Earth connections on its sun-facing side. This setup maintains the spacecraft's temperature at a constant 50 Kelvin, which is required for making feeble infrared measurements. Let's look at some extraterrestrial findings revealed by James Webb Telescope. Number 1. The Vast Universe It is said that the satellite can peer into the depths of the universe. However, does the universe even have a limit? As more time passes, more of the light from the other stars will reach us. The universe that we can observe is expanding. There is a possibility that humanity will one day be able to view the entirety of the universe, which is problematic. The increasing scope of the universe, even though the rate of cosmological expansion at the moment isn't as fast as it was right after the Big Bang, it's still very much a thing that's happening. As a result of the universe's expansion, galaxy clusters are moving further and further apart. As a result of the universe's evolution, the distance between Earth and many galaxies is decreasing faster than the speed of light. According to the theory of special relativity, Two local things can't travel more quickly than the speed of light relative to one another. However, this limitation does not arise from the fact that the universe is expanding. The light from distant galaxies will never reach us because they are receding faster than the speed of light no matter how long we wait. These galaxies are located beyond the observable reaches of our universe. The observable and actual universe is expanding at the same rate because the visible cosmos cannot keep up with the universe's expansion, many galaxies will always be beyond our ability to observe them. Despite this, there is no end to the universe. Number 2. SMAC 0723 This image named Webb's first deep field shows the galaxy cluster SMAX 0723. This cluster acts as a gravitational lens for more distant magnifying galaxies behind it because it illuminates them as they travel towards the observatory as the cluster's gravity magnifies them. Because light from the early cosmos has been stretched out by time it reaches us, Webb's primary imager, NearCam, which operates in the near-infrared wavelength range, has brought these dim background galaxies into sharp focus. This is possible because NearCam works in the near-infrared wavelength range. Webb built the composite image in only 12.5 hours, which is substantially faster than its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which could have done it in weeks. Jonathan Lunine, the chair of the astronomy department at Cornell University, was quoted by AFP as saying, Fantastic! Galaxies upon galaxies upon galaxies! His enthusiasm was shared by members of the astronomical community worldwide. This is not the farthest distant object that can be seen with Webb, but it is the most in-depth image that has ever been obtained, demonstrating this enormous telescope's capability in spades. 
According to Harvard astronomy professor Avi Loeb, the reddish arcs are ancient galaxies and the lighter colored circles and eclipses belong to the younger galaxy cluster in the foreground. Number 3. The Carina Nebula Located around 7600 light years away in the southern constellation Carina, the Carina Nebula is a tumultuous region responsible for stars' birth and death. Because of Webb's infrared capabilities, it can see through clouds and uncover hundreds of new stars in stunning detail. When asked to describe the image known as Cosmic Cliffs, an astrophysicist from the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center named Amber Stravn gave the following explanation. We have these gigantic, hot young stars up here at the top and the radiation and stellar winds from these stars are sorts of pushing down and running into all this gas and dust, she said. And naturally we know that gas and dust are excellent raw material sources for brand new stars and young planets. Strathn argues that each speck of light in the image represents a separate star, similar to the sun, and that many of these stars most certainly have planets orbiting around them. It just serves to remind me that our sun, as well as our planets, are ultimately us. We're formed from the same stuff that we see here, she said. We see it all around us. Number 4. Exoplanet Exploration This image taken by Webb reveals the existence of water vapor in the atmosphere of WASP-96b, a hot and a gassy planet, approximately 1150 light years away from the Earth. This is an excellent beginning to Webb's exploration of extrasolar worlds. There are countless planets outside our solar system and Webb will make it possible for scientists to examine them in a way that has never been possible. Webb can reveal which rocky planets might have atmospheres and therefore might harbor life by peering through the clouds that block such worlds. In addition, Webb can study the composition of the atmospheres of all different types of exoplanets. What you're seeing here is the chemical fingerprint, the telltale signature of water vapor in the atmosphere of this exoplanet, says NASA astrophysicist Nicole Collin, adding that the evidence adds up to the presence of clouds and hazes on WASP-96b. What you're seeing here is the telltale signature of water vapor in the atmosphere of this exoplanet, says Nicole Collin. Number 5. The Southern Ring Nebula Two web cameras were pointed at the Southern Ring Nebula where they captured images of the final moments of a star's life. These images provide a glimpse into the future of our solar system. An astronomer working at the Space Telescope Science Institute named Carl Gordon explains that this is a planetary nebula. It's generated by a dying star that has emitted a huge fraction of its mass in successive waves and that a dying star brought it. The image shows two stars orbiting each other inside a cloud of elements. These elements are being ejected into space by the less bright star and the cloud is being stirred by the movement of the pair's orbit. The orange foamy object shown in the photograph are molecules of molecular hydrogen which are being created as the cloud expands. The hot ionized gas that makes up the inner blue haze is being driven to extremely high temperatures by the remnant of the star's core. Number 6. Stefan's Quintet About 290 million light years away from the Earth are where you'll find the Stefan's Quintet, a collection of five galaxies that are absurdly near to one another. Three of the galaxies have acquired elongated spiral-like structures due to their interactions. In contrast, four galaxies are engaged in a cosmic dance that will one day result in the quartet meeting. The ages of the stars in the quintet range from just being born to have existed for hundreds of millions of years, representing the entirety of the universe's history. Because it so clearly illustrates the kind of interaction that drives the development of galaxies, this is a very significant image and region to investigate. A statement was made by the astronomer working for the European Space Agency named Giovanna Giardino. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a comment. Hit that like and subscribe button below. Thanks for tuning in. Tuning in.